Hello, here I am with my Dear White Sewing Machine, and I'm here to explain how I um, fixed a little problem it had when it came back from a little stay away from me. So, what happened when it came back is this knob, which was always difficult to turn, wasn't, it's not a knob, it's a dial, um, wouldn't turn at all. It was utterly stubborn, which meant that I could not manipulate the vertical rising and falling of these two feeder dogs which sit on a plate that when you turn the whatever this is called these happily move along these feeder dogs well I could sew, but I wasn't happy with the way I couldn't adjust these um, really important mechanism to move or not move fabric below. So instead of doing my work, which is what I should have done, I spent the last hour and a half fixing the problem because it was bothering me um, or else it's elaborate procrastination. Um, and I like to fix things that have measurable um, end points of success or failure, unlike most things in my life. Anyway, so what I did is I opened up the machine, or actually turned it on its side, and you're gonna hear bang, and it's not um, anything, it's just this heavy machine laying down on its side. There's the bang. So inside our darling machine, what you find here is this interesting configuration. I first decided to loosen this nut to see if this would free up the dial, and indeed it did. I loosened it, and lo and behold, this curious little bullet-like thing, I don't know what it's called, I'm sure it has a very specific name, suddenly slipped back and forth. Unfortunately, nothing happened with my feeder dogs. They just, this went back and forth like a dream, but it had no effect on anything. So therefore I thought, oh, something's fallen out in its little journey up to the high Sierra Mountains, and I'm just gonna have to figure out what that little part is, and I thought maybe something connects to this that's missing, that would move. And then I started using my little brain a little more, and I thought, it doesn't make sense because there's no place anything would connect. This looks very, well, it's very elegant, I must say. This entire interior is exquisitely elegant. Um, there's nothing that is out of place or seems to be a place something could hook onto. So then I began to think, well, these mysterious tubes, or not even tubes, whatever they're called, long metal pipes, but they're not called pipes either, I'm pretty sure. There's got to be something about this that would determine where and how my feeder dogs raise and lower. So I began to kind of just feel around, and then lo and behold, I realized that this actually moves up and down, which made me realize when you do this, that must cause something inside that, whatever it's called, behind the screw, to um, activate um, a swinging motion like that. So I thought it's got to be related to this little screw. It just has to be here. So I loosened up the screw and got very worried that I would never be able to return on this journey and I would have to take it down to the sewing machine shop. Um, but indeed, when I loosened the screw, suddenly this lateral motion was very, very smooth. Still nothing happened, but I saw a little spring, a little spring hiding in here. You see it's here, and when you loosen the screw and move it over, you see more of that charming spring, meaning this spring needs to spring, needs to be springy. And um, so I began moving it back and forth, thinking maybe that would just loosen it up a little and make it become more willing to, um, to do what it was created for in this world, be a spring. And then I moved and manipulated this, but then I realized this is just designed to hit this to control the lateral motion, and I better not mess with it too much. Then I don't have this open, but I opened up the top plate of the machine here. Sorry. Um, 
and inside I saw the feeder dog and I kind of moved it up and down with my hands while I moved this and then I tightened the screw. And then the feeder dogs were way too low. So I went back here, I loosened up the screw and I, ra I pulled this out so the feeder dog was at its highest um, possible ascension or angle or inclination. And then I tightened it really tight. That was the ticket. And now I have completely, when I turn my little dial, look at these beautiful feeder dogs moving up and working really well with the machine and down up sorry it's terrible focus and down that's a good view yeah you can see it right here you see that so I don't know why I like mechanical things. I'm a woman, but for some reason I do. And I'm so happy I solved this problem.